Hey guys, this is Sean. Just wanted to do another unboxing of NECA's The Mummy, the original mummy of from uh, Universal Pictures starring Boris Karloff. Um, this is, I believe, their second in their line of Universal Monsters, the first being Boris Karloff's Frankenstein. Now, I have that one and I plan on getting this one. This is actually a friend of mine's who was nice enough to let me borrow this to do an unboxing. So Tim, uh, thanks, I appreciate it. And uh, I'll try to be careful with it. So here's just a real quick look at the box. This is the classic poster. And I believe everything you get, well, except for the sarcophagus, is on the back. So, um, let me get a quick look inside. Yeah, so let's go ahead and just open this up. And I don't... Oh, shit, I already ripped the box. Okay, sorry, Tim. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to buy you a new one if you want the box. <laughs> let's just get this thing out. Let's check it out. Let's not waste time here. All right, when I do these unboxings, I really like to just do this as a first impression. I don't wanna look at too many images online. I just wanna see it like right out of the box and see what I think. I mean, once again, I mean, NECA's done. <sighs> you know. They just keep outdoing themselves as far as their sculpts. And I, I gotta say on this one, man, I really love the paint job that's, um, that they did on this one. I mean, honestly, it's, it's not coming out as well as it should on the camera because there's some light grays and like very faint, faint purple hues, almost like pinkish hues too. It looks so good. And unfortunately, it's just, it's not really showing up on the camera as much. I mean, in the hands, you can kind of see it. But the heads, I mean, they're there and they look, they look great. But I don't know, it's just not coming out. I mean, NECA rarely disappoints. Once, once again, I've said this before, my only pet peeve with NECA is sometimes the plastic is a little too stiff right out of the box and it's always recommended to heat up the joints and move it around because if you try to move it around right away out of the box, they may snap. Now, I already ruined my friend's box. I don't know if... Uh, wanted to keep the box or what but okay I mean as you can see this sculpt is amazing I'm just gonna go ahead and try to bend it Okay, it bends, uh, it bends fine. He's got his bling. Now, can he actually put his, can he actually do the pose like the box? The arms across. Oh yeah, yeah, I can. Oh, nice. Okay, this one's a little stiffer. Okay, this is like once again, heat it up. I can, cool. Yeah, man, that looks so good. Gotta bend these knees a little bit. Okay, knees feel a little stiff. All right, not bad, not bad, but he is a mummy, so.
All right, let's see what else it comes with. Let's see. Okay. I love how this comes with not just one other alternate head, but three heads all together. Which I always love. Uh, you can never go wrong with extra heads. This is his other head. Oh, oh. This is cool, but I don't know if I want to keep this head on. Oh, I, I think I'm gonna go with the classic look right here. This eyes closed. All right, we have some alternate hands here. I don't see a big difference with these. I guess these are more like the reaching out hands. A little different, not much. All right, and we got his little box here. Let's see. Crap. Popped out. And this is cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I like this. That's a nice touch. The only thing is with this box is that I'm looking at the back right here. And I don't know if it's because it's in a sepia tone, but it looks like it was supposed to be brown. Or at least the top was supposed to be brown. I mean, yeah, it's sepia tone, but I don't think the sepia tone would have made it that dark compared to this. Um, I wish they would have went with this because the contrast is way better. I mean, like, it looks way better. The dark brown with the gold just pops. This gets kind of lost unless you put it in the perfect light. Light gold on light gray, it just, I don't know. It doesn't really work. I wish they would have kept it like this. Unless that's just the way the photo looks, I don't know. It's a minor thing though, no, no big deal. All right, now he's got his extra bandages here. So there you have it. If you're a Universal fan, Universal Monster fan, I would highly recommend this. I mean, the sculpt is great. The paint job is, is actually my favorite part of this figure. I mean, you can see a little bit better now. There you go. You can see those kind of flesh hues and light purples, light pinks. Almost like a peachish color on the top. It's just very subtle and it looks so good. So once again, guys, check it out. Pick it up if you're interested and um, drop a like on this video. Thanks guys, take it easy.